Hello, everyone. Welcome to Food and Beverage Cost Control Systems. My name is Stephen Hilborn, and I will be your instructor uh, for the next 13, 14 weeks. Uh, so welcome aboard. Um, the idea of what we're doing today is this is just a brief introductory video where I want to be able to go through um, both the syllabus with you and then also Blackboard and how this is going to work exactly. Um, I'm super excited about this particular course because we have just completely redone it. Now we are, we have gamified it, if you will, into an online simulation program where you'll be doing varying aspects of uh, restaurant um, life, I suppose, as well as managing your own restaurant in a AI enhanced simulation model. So very cutting edge, very new stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of excited to be uh, kind of heading this on for you. Uh, so a few things. As you can probably see here, um, I do have my screen open to Blackboard, um, but first we will start with our syllabus actually. Um, so hopefully you can see here, this is the fall 2020 um, uh, food and beverage cost control system uh, syllabus. Now um, you'll see this side of my face often as my screen, my camera's here and my screen's over here. It's weird, I know. So just bear with me. Uh, so, a couple things. Um, so, this is going to be uh, almost completely an asynchronous course. So, this particular course is going to be kind of managed on your own. I'll be posting material on the Monday, and you'll be expected to do things typically by the, the Friday. Um, and you'll see as I go through. Um, a little bit of instructor information. So, as I said, my name is Stephen Hellborn. I know many of you, I believe, some of you, this is the first. Uh, not under the circumstances I would have liked, but I totally understand. Um, so, um, my email is stephen.hillborn at georgiancollege.ca, and these are my office hours right here. So, I am available from every Monday from 10 a.m. to 12. So, basically, right after all the material is posted, go through it. If you have any questions, you'll be going to my personal meeting room, and I will just be there available. Also, I will be available from Tuesdays to Wednesdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So this is kind of like that midweek. I've looked at it. I kind of have a few questions before I submit um, or I'm having difficulty with this simulation. You can jump in any of those times or just as requested. So if you really need to meet, um, as long as you give me enough time, heads up, um, I should be able to, to help you out with that. So there's not really any office time um, necessary. And I sure hope this is actually recording. I have no idea. Um, other than that, um, the, the phone number, but that's my office phone, so don't really worry about it. So, a couple things about this particular course. So, this course, uh, the idea is that you gain a thorough understanding of the operational principles of beverage, food, and labor. Those are the prime costs, food costs, beverage costs, labor costs, uh, and different techniques. Now, I won't go through each line of this uh, syllabus. It's kind of on your own. Uh, but you will be using current computer applications and software relevant to this, which is fantastic. Moving down, um, you will see that there is a $69 charge. Now, you may have seen in Blackboard as well that I put that note. So um, this class used to cost $140 for a text, which was mandatory. Um, so yes, there is still a cost. It is less than what it was. Our idea is maybe down the road. Um, to kind of work this into your tuition, but for the meantime, it's $69, and yes, it's mandatory per person. There's no sharing of this. Um, a couple of the learning outcomes. So very basically, uh, create... I just want to make sure I'm recording because I'm having a bad feeling about this. I am recording. Good. Uh, so create and cost a standard recipe develop some purchase specifications for a variety of products, apply inventory control, making sure you have enough product to actually service food and beverage operations, um, looking at what you've done. So analyze your operating results and then be able to come up with SOPs, standard operating procedures to correct anything that you need to. Uh, identify the flow of goods. So how does food uh, and staff move around? apply food and beverage cost controls, and then also calculate labor costs as it pertains to standard recipe creation and scheduling. So those are the learning outcomes, um, and this is how we're going to be approaching it. So you'll see here is all of the weeks and all of the different evaluations. I think I'll skip ahead to the actual week portion, then I'll come back to the evaluations. So other than the first week, reading week, 
and um, kind of the last couple weeks, every single week will be the same where you're giving um, a topic. So the very first one being location selection, where would you put a restaurant and why? Um, and then each of these have a quiz worth 1%, a learning exercise worth 2%, and a challenge exercise worth 5%. All of these will be submitted uh, or open to you to uh, accomplish on Monday and must be completed by Friday. Um, now, first week is a tutorial. While there's no marks, you will not be able to progress through this without doing the tutorial. Also with every other week. So if you miss week three, you're out of town, you don't have the option of completing it in time, it still won't let you complete week four unless you've gone through and completed week three, regardless if you've missed the marks already. Um, so it's a little bit more motivation. Make sure every single week you're completing that by the Friday at 5 p.m. I'll put out messages and reminders for you as well. Uh, so as you see, we go through all the way to week 10 doing that same process. We have we have one reading week. I'm not classifying it as an actual week, um, just so you know. So this is a 13-week semester instead of a 14-week semester. After week 10, um, we've kind of finished all of our major topics that we're going to be listening or uh, learning about. And now what we're doing is that we're, we're having a major project simulation. So what you learned in the last 10 weeks you're going to apply to it your own restaurant. Um, so there'd be something called a turnaround project. So a struggling restaurant. And now with all of the knowledge that you've gained, the idea is for you to go in and be able to complete that. That'll be worth 18% and it's due in the last week. Um, as well, we're gonna have optimum control. So optimum control is a inventory software. It's used, the Georgia College uses it for all the restaurants and everything upstairs in the cafeteria uses it. Um, really handy. It's great to put on a resume. We're going to do about two weeks of training on that just to give you, um, you know, a little feather in your cap when you're applying for places and something nice to put on your resume. Um, it will be worth 10%. And then we also have a bonus project, um, which is worth 5%. Now the bonus project is starting a restaurant from scratch, from nothing and seeing how much money you can end up making. Um, and what that's going to do is that while it's going to be worth up to 5%, it's also going to be a competition and I'll probably give out gift cards to local restaurants because that just seems to make sense and we're, we want to help and support our local restaurants. So um, that is essentially the 13 weeks as you see here. Uh, again, all of the evaluations, it's 8% a week for nine weeks, I believe, and then a couple of major projects at the end. No tests, no big handwritten assignments. This is all individual simulation based. Um, so I guess the only tests we have are these multiple choice quizzes worth 1%. Um, and then your final si uh, simulation or project would be your final exam or your final major project. Um, so the way it's set up, I like a lot and I hope you do too as well. That it's pretty streamlined. Uh, so from there, oh, there's a bunch of uh, information about late work and important dates and Lockdown and process is not really going to be an issue. Um, we won't have any school, uh, snow days because we won't be on campus, unfortunately. Uh, but if you are um, wondering about that information at all, it is listed here for you. Okay. So the next portion is that I want to go on to uh, Blackboard and really show you how this course is going to be set up. Now, lovely thing about this course is that Although we're using a simulation program, you'll never need to actually log in or load up the simulation program. It's all accessed through Blackboard. So you'll go to your food and beverage control systems. Now I've combined, I, I teach uh, four sections. You're all combined into one big section. Uh, so that being said, I think I have 160 of you or so. Um, Bear with me in some of those meetings. There might be a lot of people. I'll schedule more meetings if we have to. That's completely fine. Uh, I don't really think you'll have many issues with this course. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but, you know, as, as this evolves and as we both learn to teach and learn online, uh, we will adjust as we go through. Uh, okay, so on your beginning screen, it's the announcement screen, and that's usually what shows up. Um, I just have a brief welcome announcement. Please read this. Um, as well, it does have the link here for any of those meetings. So that being said, when the Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 
that meeting room will just be open during those times, 10 to 12 and four to six on Tuesday, Wednesday. You click on that, it'll always be open on my screen and you'll just pop in and we can talk like this. Uh, my internet is not fantastic. I do not know how yours is. So my video might be on sometimes, but generally I'll take the video off. Um, great thing about these meetings is that we can screencast saying that you can show me your screen or your assignment or what you are working on. And then I'll have a really good idea of how to help you. Um, so when and if that comes up, please let me know. So this is just our announcement screen. Uh, there's not a whole lot that you need to do here. Um, just I'm going to be communicating weekly through this, letting you know what to do, give you reminders. Uh, please either download the Blackboard app or make sure you have this as like a favorite on your web browser on your uh, home computer. Uh, a couple things up here. So announcements is the main one, WebEx. So through WebEx, this will bring you to another page. Um, if we have a set individual meeting, it'll be in there. Um, if you want access to my meeting room and don't want to click on this link right that's shown there, um, that link here, that's fine as well. You can do that. Um, either way, that's just a way to access and for us to actually meet. Uh, course information. Not a ton here. So currently it's just the syllabus, which is uh, what we've already looked at. And then this here. So this is a PDF. This is interesting. This is all the Georgian College services, remote and in person. Um, you know, it's easy to say that this is a strange time for everyone. You might need to get a hold of Registrar's Office or the International Center, and usually you would just go walk over there. Um, so this is a, a great contact for you. Just open it up. You'll find the contacts, the emails. There's chat lines. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, that'll be helpful um, if you need help other than just what's with going on with this course. So that's just for you. Um, and then that brings us to our course. So now our course is called Virtual Business Case Simulations. Now you're going to see a little bit more on my side than you will see because it'll show everything. So right now everything is hidden from you, but as you'll see, there are week one all the way to week 13. Um, as time goes on, these will be opened up every single Monday. Um, I will keep them up always. So you can always go back and try it just in case you did miss something just so you are able to complete the final assignment. Um, upon week one, this will open. So you'll be able to go into this and you'll simply just click on tutorial. Now, when you click on tutorial, it'll bring you to a new screen, which I hope you're looking at. Yes. So this new screen here is going to be the simulation program. It's called Knowledge Matters uh, Virtual Business. And basically what this is going to do is going to take you through that tutorial. Now, if you haven't paid for it and haven't set it up yet, this will bring you right now to pay for it. Um, once you've already paid for it and everything's fine, um, then this is what will pop up. So this is a 16 step tutorial that you're looking at right here. Um, you will click on the read these orange little captions and click on them. And basically it's just going to walk you through what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, so I won't go through this. Um, every week I will post another video, just so you know, um, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it might be, introducing you to the next challenge and kind of going through some things that I thought weren't really easy to understand, or it took me a little while of like moving around and, and reading, reading different help directions. Okay. So maybe try to save you a little bit of time. So this is here is going to be your, uh, it's social media web marketing, but it's just a tutorial to show you how it's all done. Okay. When you go through the tutorial, well, it's not worth any marks. It'll give you a completion mark and you will be all set to go on to week two when it opens. So I'll show you what week two looks like just to give you an idea because week one is just one simple thing you need to do. Week two has a concept overview. So a concept overview will be essentially what we're looking at. So we're looking at location selection. So you're going to look at traffic corridors and population is it family is it couples is it business owners um, after you read this overview which is usually three to four pages you will be quizzed on it i believe you can do the quiz as many times as possible or maybe three maybe um, i'll have to double check that um, and your highest mark will always count okay so if you do a quiz once and you get seven you do a quiz again, you get nine, and you say, okay, I want to do it one more time, you get 10, and then you do it again, you get eight. That nine, which is your highest mark, is the one that's going to stay. 
So don't worry about trying and trying and getting a worse mark. Um, after the quiz, what you'll be doing next is the location selection case briefing. Now this is assuming this is week two. Um, so basically what you would do is that you would open this up. This should be a couple page briefing on what your next task is going to be. Uh, so in this instance, we're going to talk about location selection in this simulation, the things that they look for, population counts, uh, what are the demographics of this, these populations? So are they business owners? Are they family owners? Are they couples, young, old, so on and so forth? Um, other restaurants that are around. Um, as well, they're going to be asking you a couple discussion questions. Now, these discussion questions are probably best if you would ask yourself those. And if you can answer them, then you should feel pretty strongly that you are ready to proceed to the next portion of this. So what factors go into picking a restaurant location is the first discussion question that's located right here. Now, between your concept overview and your briefing, you should have a pretty good idea of that. And at this point, if you don't, this is probably where you want to load up that maybe concept overview again and, and read up a little bit more. Um, so take your time and read all of these because it's going to save you a lot of time and effort um, as if you don't, then you probably have to replay these simulations and some take over an hour. So that's the next portion. Um, after you read your case briefing and you feel good about it, you'll move on to the learning phase. So the learning phase is exactly that. Um, so before we challenge you, you, we bring you through what the actual system looks like. They maybe will allow you to go through 10 or 15 different steps using income statements or in this particular instance, it's going to be using surveys to survey the people around you what kind of food they like to eat, or where they like to dine out. Um, so this one here has eight steps in which you need to go through. Now, as a really good piece of, of information or a reminder, always carry with you a notebook when you're doing this, because there'll be times that they you'll have to write down information. You can always go back and find the information, uh, probably using the system and the reports. But what I have found doing this is very time consuming because I'll forget a piece and then I won't have written it down Then I'll have to go back and try to find that again. Um, so I always bring a, a, a notepad, a little book, write down all the information that I think I'm going to need for this simulation. And then when it actually happens, I'm, uh, I'm all set. So this is the eight step learning phase. After the eight step learning phase, you will then be able to select the challenge phase. So you must complete the learning phase first. And then the challenge phase, uh, which is somewhat similar, they usually don't have that many instructions, maybe three or four, and then they just let you go on your own. Um, again, I will attach a video of how to use this, excuse me, simulation program a little bit more in detail. Um, but the actual program itself has some great instructional videos, some great help photos. Um, so just, just read on, um, explore a little bit, experiment with it a little bit. Uh, every simulation you have up to three tries to complete. So really there's no wrong button you can press or mistake that you can make that can't be fixed. All right. So, um, I think that's it for this video. As of Monday coming up, what you will be doing is you'll be logging on to food and beverage cost control systems and you'll be completing week one tutorial must be done by Friday at 5 p.m. Other than that, uh, I'm looking forward to this semester. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you like the new simulation software. If you have any questions, please drop in at those meetings. Uh, my first one is this Monday at 10 a.m. to 12. Just click on the open meeting room link and it'll bring you right there. I'd love to see your face and say hi to you and find out how your co-op and your summer went. I know it must be crazy. Um, and there's a lot of names and faces that I recognize and i really like to see you again as well. So uh, Monday, 10 a.m. Otherwise, if you don't make it to that, just make sure you complete your tutorial simulation and just check in with me whenever you can and let's keep the communication open. Bye for now.